foreign businessman in Ohio wearing a traditional robe and headscarf falsely accused of being a terrorist. A call reporting him to 911 prompting a police takedown, and that triggered international outrage. Here's ABC's Clayton Sandell. There is a male in a full headdress. This 911 call to police in Avon, Ohio, now triggering an international response. With multiple disposable phones pledging his um, allegiance or something to ISIS. A desk clerk working at this Fairfield Inn hotel tells her sister she believes there's a terrorist in the lobby. That sister calls police. There he is. There he is. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Go in. Grab his hands, cuff him up. We're covered, 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 covered. Take the phone away. The suspect is Ahmed Al Manali, a businessman from the United Arab Emirates. I'm tourist, and this is good, good, good. Yeah, it's not good. It's right. But soon police realize the report is false. Al Manali visiting the U.S. for a heart treatment suddenly faints. You okay? Groups that track Islamophobia say the U.S. is seeing a recent spike, anger sometimes directed against innocent Muslims. Marriott, which owns the hotel, says this was a terrible misunderstanding and we deeply regret what happened, saying hotel employees will be getting training in diversity and inclusion. Avon's police chief and mayor are sorry, too. You should not have been put in that situation like you were. There were some false accusations made against you, um, and, and those are regrettable. And as for that hotel desk clerk, officials tell us tonight she may still be facing criminal charges over that false report. Cecilia. Okay, Clayton, thank you.